stunt and they're, they're doing it for uh, effect. They walked out of the talks yesterday afternoon whilst they were still ongoing and went and called a press conference and uh, said it was over. Let's not forget the public put £16 billion into running this railway during coronavirus. That's the equivalent of £600 per family and the way that we're all thanked for that is by this militant extreme union taking their workers out on strike on the false pretense a pretext that there was not going to be a pay increase and there would be compulsory job cuts both of which are fundamentally untrue. There aren't agency workers that can replace our members in safety critical work. They're not going to be able to run 25,000 volt uh, electricity control centres. They're not going to signal high speed trains. They're not going to be able to maintain rolling stock. They're not going to be able to drive trains. So it's a bit of an irrelevance really uh, to the situation that we're facing. If he wants to bring some people around and stand in empty stations to break strikes and pay them when he could be paying our members for a settlement, that's something that he's got to spend his time doing. I want to emphasise to everybody this morning why I think those strikes are so wrong, so wrong and so unnecessary. Don't forget, throughout the pandemic, uh, the UK government supported the railway industry to the tune of £16 billion.